what's up y'all welcome back to the channel i'm out here in the absolute middle of nowhere uh to film this video and i don't know why anyway also we're out of here just got some new rubber let's go ahead and talk about these tires so we got them in a 285 65 r20 and that pretty much equates to a 35 by 11 and a half slightly smaller than that uh goodyear wrangler ultra trains this is the exact same tire that i had on my old truck just in a bigger size and the real question is do they fit honestly like i said in the other video i don't know what lift is on this truck i think it's a two inch level it could be a three inch i don't know regardless uh no they don't fit they well they do they rub on this plastic fender or rock guard back there and also in the front here but honestly it's not a huge deal uh, it's just plastic and liner. It's not going to damage the tires. It's not damaging the truck. And this is under completely full lock right now. So just don't turn all the way. And should be just fine. These tires, $1,700. I'm going to be honest, a little shout out to Discount Tire here. Um, sort of. So I'm not the kind of person that you know, walks around and examines my rims every time I go and drive my truck. But during the process, they actually dropped this wheel or it slipped in their machine and whatnot. And the guys at Discount Tire actually came out, I wouldn't have noticed, to be honest, I would have thought that came when I bought the truck. Uh, they came out, they said, hey, your wheel slipped, we can buy a new wheel or we can take some money off your tires. So shout out to them for being completely honest about it. Um, I feel like some other shops would be like, oh, you know, if you noticed it, which I honestly don't think I would have, um, it would have been like, oh, that was there, you know, when you brought the tire in. So anyway, it's a little scratched up. I really don't care that much. I do have some touch up paint, so we might make a video on fixing those, but shout out Discount Tire for being honest and helping me out there. Could've got a new wheel, but I just took some money off the tires. So we'll get in the truck now and try and get out of that wind, roast myself for a little bit. He did roll out some Nitto Terra Grapplers um, and some KO2s. I went with these because I love them on my old truck, never had any issues. I like how they look and the price point, honestly, they're extremely expensive for this size. Um, the tear grapplers were $1,900. The KO2s were around that price. These were, I think, $17,500, so a little bit cheaper. And I got that deal because they messed up my rim on accident. Uh, you know, and mistakes do happen. They're not super loud on the road. They are just fine, good grip. And I ran these exact tires on my old truck in the wintertime, and they were pristine. I actually didn't use four-wheel drive all winter living in the mountains in Colorado. And I'm hoping that's the same case on this truck, but this truck does have auto four wheel drive and it's just a button press away. Whereas the old truck was the uh, old shifter on the floor. So it will be easy to, easier to run four wheel drive in this truck. See it nice and wide. Uh, like I said, I think the closest is a 35 by 11 and a half. Uh, I think 34.6 by 11 point something. I can't remember if it's bigger than 11 and a half or smaller than 11 and a half. Yeah, and unfortunately, if you look down there, uh, if they stick out, it's maybe half an inch. You know, that's a good indicator of, you know, how much poke we got. And should it get down to it, if I really want to stick my wheels out way out there, I can always put new wheels on or I could run some spacers. <laughs> Run spacers on the 2019 truck. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, always, there's options though. Uh, you know, you can always stick them out if I really want to. Uh, but these tires, hopefully, are gonna last for quite a while. So, anyways, to sum up, now on the truck we have 35s. I'm gonna call them 35s. Everyone get mad about me calling metric size tires 35s. Anyway, we got 35s on the truck. We have a Delta Series 50 Delta Series muffler. Uh, two inch lift level three inch lift i'm gonna call it a lift because the back is also raised up i still have rake i want to say it's three but i'm pretty sure it's two i really have no idea two and a half we'll call it two and a half inch lift level on the truck uh we got the dynamic fuel management disabler down there it's plugged in so we are looking good what else is going to come up for the truck who knows uh if you have any questions comments 
want to see something done to it, let me know. I'm thinking, if anything, maybe new wheels, maybe straight pipe it, maybe cold air intake. I don't know. Kind of scatterbrained a little bit right now. I see a post right there. I zoom that post. And that looks like a great place to put the camera and then burn some of the rubber off these brand new tires. What do you guys think? Let's do it. Hold this button right there. And uh, yeah, everything off. Looking good. What's up y'all? So as I was driving away from filming that video, I thought of a couple things that I failed to cover. Uh, one, do I notice a power difference running 35s? And the answer is no. I think, I don't know about the 2019s, I'm pretty sure they come stock with a 31-ish inch tire. The tires that came on the truck when I bought it were 33s and now they're 35s honestly i can't tell a difference the only difference i can tell is there's more sidewalls so the ride is kind of more jello-y more squishy uh, especially going around corners like this uh, that was my first thing that i noticed getting these tires a little bit wider a little bit taller uh, just more squishy second off uh speedometer my speedometer is now off it, it kind of it gets it's logarithmic. I don't even know if that's the right word for it. Uh, exponential. No. I don't know. The faster I go, the more inaccurate my speedometer is. So going right now, 30. I'm probably going around 32. However, when I was on the highway the other day, I had my cruise control set to 80, and it felt a lot faster. I, I downloaded an app on my phone. I was actually going about 88. So... It's off, I would say, by about six miles per hour average. Like I said, I drive past some like, those speed signs occasionally, uh, going 40, and you know, it'll say like 44. So that would make sense if I'm going twice as fast for it to be twice as, all right, what the hell is going on here? Uh, twice as amplified. So let's take a turn here. I don't know if y'all can hear all those rocks just flying out. That is one thing. They do hold on to rocks like claws. Oh, goodness gracious. They're flying everywhere. Anyway, uh, yeah, speedometer is off by a little bit. I am using my phone to film this. So real quick, let's set the cruise to 60. Now I got to turn it on first. Come on now. All right, 60, cruise set to 60 miles per hour, and I'm gonna open that app up, and uh, once it actually hits 60, and we'll see here. All right, so I'll include that screenshot there. The app on my phone just read 66. So, uh, you know, who knows how accurate those apps are. I'm not gonna say I'm going exactly 66. You know, I'll give or take two miles per hour on that. So I would say around five miles per hour off. Obviously that is fixable with, uh, just a, a, a quick thing you plug in. I don't know if the dealership will do it, which brings me to another point. These tires may or may not void warranty. Also, everything may or may not void warranty, which kind of sucks. However, you know, if I go to the, the dealership with the blown up differential or something wrong with the transmission, I think they reserve the right to say I'm running oversized tires and that they won't service it. I think it's, you can do 3% bigger than the original. Anyway, those are just some afterthoughts of filming that video. Uh, I need to recalibrate the speedometer. May or may not avoid warranty. We'll keep you updated on that. And yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.